<sighs> Good morning, it's Victoria Rose here. How are you? I actually didn't shower yet or put on any makeup or anything, so this is kind of just like how I woke up. I need to bleach my hair. Okay. I heard you're supposed to do that in the mornings. You just go like, yay! And then it makes you want to wake up and be happy, but it hasn't worked yet. I don't know how this is gonna sound, but I'm trying out this new technique, so put your headphones in, okay? You can talk. Is that protein? No. What are you doing? It's bleach. Can you put some... Come over here so they can like see you. They can put um, a voice with a face. I just, I just got back from the gym. We're looking not very good. This is reality. <laughs> Crouch down. <laughs> Your peers. People, people, my peers, my people would start thinking that I'm a fucking goofball, <laughs> but I'm, I'm a serious man. I know. Okay. I firsthand know that. Okay. Firsthand. Now I'm gonna make a peanut butter sandwich. Okay. All right. So I'm putting olive oil in my hair in case I didn't say, um, because this just helps protect it a little bit and use some moisturization, but it doesn't affect the bleach. Oh, I thought you had dandruff. What? Actually, no, not at all. Yeah, me neither. I was, I was thinking about it right now, like, I don't have any scalp problems. It's nice not having scalp problems. Yeah, it's a, it's a perk. Do you ever get scared when your scalp gets itchy? In no. that little spot where your, your hair begins, the swirl? No, why would I? Alright, so I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit, and then I'm going to have Denai bleach it. Denai is still not coming out of her room. I've been waiting for so long. Hey, what do, you, what do you need? Would you help me do my hair? Joey X Rave here. I put on a bandana because I'm wearing a blue shirt and I feel like the guy from Wet Hot American Summer. Now, there's a couple things that I want to go over here. We've got um, a cream, we've got extra virgin olive oil. I don't know what that's for because I wasn't paying attention in the last video. And then we got these little brushes. So I take the 20 developer. Put it in the bleach bowl. That's cream. Huh? What do you need me to do? I just need you to, like, where's the mirror? It's there. Yeah, okay, I need that in front of me. Oh, paper towels. Paper towels! I'm just, like, bossing Joey around. <laughs> he gets nothing out of this. <laughs> Except I'll link your, I'll, I'll link your Instagram. But so I just, what do I do? Okay, just so... Just rub your head? No, you, you take one of these and just make sure you don't get it on the floor. So this looks like, by the way, guys. Oh, I've done this so many times on camera that I don't know why I have to do it again, or that I'm doing it again, but I don't have any video ideas, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to start from the very back. Okay. And like with the dreads, like, you just go like this. It's easier than normal hair, so. Okay. Yeah, we're doing this. I'm trusting you. Okay. You yeah, you got serious you. Joey up in here. Okay. What happens if I touch a dread? Just try not to, and try not to get it on, like, the length of the dread. Okay, I'm going to start from the bottom. Don't flop them in. She has a nice head. It's like thank you. It's very calm, and the dreads just make it. It's nice. It's like petting something. <laughs> it's like a. You make me think of like, like yeah, like a sheep, or it makes me think of when I was young and I'd pet um, horses. I could put this on my resume. Yeah. I could be one of those people that are like, yeah, I'm living my LA dream. I'm a hairstylist <laughs> in LA. I really, you know, I do special effects makeup, too. Alright, so it is done. We missed some spots, but I always miss spots, so it's cool. It's a lot of, like, upkeep in, like, this look. But I'm gonna put some color in it. Some color in it later. But now, for now, I'm gonna go to the gym. Dreadlocks take a while to dry. So it's just gonna take a second for them to dry like naturally. Honestly, I've been so bored lately that food has been really boring to me. So I've been like not eating like a ton. Like I've been intermittent, intermittent fasting throughout the morning, which makes me feel the best because food kind of makes me feel sluggish. And then nighttime between like certain hours, I'll just eat like one to two meals. And that's like all I eat for the day. And actually I kind of like it. I kind of like doing it this way because it frees up some time because do we really need to eat that often? I mean, come on. I mean, I'm getting enough calories and it's just like, I'm getting a little bit leaner. Losing some boobage. I'm just getting a little bit leaner because there's a 
a fitness expo that I'm going to go to for the very first time. Um, we're up in Gold's Gym there, and I want to just, you know, look lean enough, so we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to go to the gym now. Honestly, the three of us. If you can do that again over there, we appreciate it. go now so that was fun hello right now I am booking another ticket I'm booking a ticket to Tokyo Japan again but that's not the final destination I'm going there first and then I'm going to travel Southeast Asia and I'm booking it for like next week so by the time this video is up I'll probably already be Gone. So goodbye America. I'm leaving you. <laughs> I'm getting out of you. Um, I'm doing it right now as we speak. I've been figuring the past month or so I've been figuring out a way to do this. I've been saving. I've been figuring out my rent situation. I already figured that all out. It's figured out and I just got the confirmation that that's figured out. So now all I gotta do is book this ticket and I'm booking a one-way ticket because I'm not paying for a round trip ticket because just the one way ticket's expensive. <clears throat> so here we go. Trip number two to traveling on a budget. I'll be honest, there's always that fear of changing your life. Not that this is a huge life change, but like kind of is because I'm leaving for three months or more because I worked so hard to get to Los Angeles. I literally just woke up, as you can tell undergoing maintenance right now oh my goodness <laughs> you guys want an open well here it is i just put in some hair dye last night and i sleep with it in my hair at night and it's not pretty it's not pretty it's not pretty <laughs> there's nothing more to say about that um i also had like eye patches on last night i think they fell off somewhere but like it's not pretty anyways um this is era era hair dye I'm gonna go wash this out and I'm gonna link the hair dye below. You can get a discount on it if you want to. My whole body is so sore from doing flips. Oh. All right, so. Hair's looking, it's looking fresh. Um, Whenever I wash my dreadlocks, they take like a million years to dry, so I hate whenever I have to bleach it and then wait for it to dry and then color it and wait for it to dry because I don't like to wash the um, the length of them very often, so it's just annoying. I'm leaving to Japan in like five or six days. I bought a one-way ticket. I didn't realize this, but that's not really allowed and you might not be allowed into the country. But I can't get a return ticket because I don't know where I'm coming back from because I'm flying into Japan but I'm traveling around Southeast Asia so I don't know which airport I'm gonna like fly back if I fly back 
to Los Angeles from, so I can't buy a return ticket. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fucked if they don't let me in the country or they don't even let me board the plane. So that's a real concern, another stress upon all the other stresses. You guys don't even know like how much it takes to like plan out like leaving the country for a while. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. I'm wondering, I'm stressed out. <laughs> what am I doing? What, what the fuck am I doing?